Welcome, in front of me is a Vivo Y19S and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. So when you boot up this phone for the first time, you should be presented with the same screen that you can see on my end where you get to select your desired language from right over here and then click on start. Next, you can choose your location. I recommend any kind of location that is located in European Union for mm, basically every device that you're going to be using from now on as this basically uh, should force any kind of other phone manufacturer that you might be using to comply with European unions, which are more consumer friendly. For instance, opening up something like Play Store or App Store for uh, alternatives on iPhones. Next, um, we have a uh, terms of use basically so user and user license agreement and you can click learn more to read more but at the end of the day you do need to check the box right here and then go to the next page which then allows you to connect to your wi-fi network this step is completely optional and you don't need to do this but if you don't have any sim card inserted into the device and don't connect to your uh, wi-fi you will have no internet connection and therefore you won't be able to log into your google account restore apps and data get software updates and have the date and time be set automatically this is only throughout the setup process and once it's finished you can change it all by going into the settings so it's not a permanent kind of thing next we have google services like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data now you can turn those off but it's from google let's be honest it's not like it's the most trustworthy company so I would look at those more like for instance if you uncheck the uh, data gathering from google basically you know send user and diagnostic data which means send my data to google um it's more like a me pleading to them uh, google please can you can you not gather my data and Google be like, <laughs> sucks to suck, loser, we're still gonna do it. That's kind of how I see it. Uh, so just be very mindful of this. If if these actually would be doing something, most likely uh, corporations wouldn't be in class action lawsuits and antitrust uh, lawsuits left and right. Just, you know, food for thought. So moving on, we have uh, several different ways of protecting our device that be fingerprint face recognition and pin pattern or password now if you're planning to use any of the biometrics these two uh, you'll always be required to select a pin pattern or password because biometrics aren't always a hundred percent reliable uh, also you don't need to protect your device at all if you don't want to do it's not something that I would recommend doing it is containing your personal data so if you lose your phone it probably would be beneficial to you if whoever finds it doesn't have access to your personal data Next, if keep your software up to date, um, you can either install manually, so check for updates in the settings, or you can just agree to the uh, automatic one by selecting next. Then you have send user and diagnostic data again, but this is now done for Vivo. And here we have TWS services. You can turn them on or off, up to you. You can read exactly what these are if you don't know. Next, um, navigation method, three button gestures. And that basically finishes up the setup. So, there we go. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.